live from Austin, where Dan, Diane Weasty boys just look at you, you know, like you got two eyes. It's going to be a great night. Now, welcome yourselves to Carter Country, where I nut to Jimmy. And here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. <laughs> Yeah. Hey. I feel like. Did I not get the high energy email? I thought we were doing low energy. No, man. I, 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 this is low energy. That's low energy. <laughs> I'm doing my best. I'm really excited. The lights why is are on. You, why are you redlining? Um, well, uh, 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 mainly because we're, we're back to some semblance of normal. Yeah. Uh, In a weird week. Yeah, I'm going to need to take double, a breather. Double, double dubs. Weird week. <laughs> double dubs? Double dubs. Uh, so, can, can I tell you my favorite moment of the last week? Yeah. It occurred... I know a- mine, but it's coming up later in the A block. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Never mind. <laughs> no. What's your favorite? What's your favorite moment of the week? Unbelievable. I need. I need to know it. I need to know it. So uh, we, we do a little bit of chit chat right before the big show. We, do. You know, we We talk to Bryce while he's doing critical racing theory, and mm-hmm. you know, we approach and walk away from the mics a little bit of back and forth, yep. and yep. we we get ourselves settled in. Yep. We set up our accoutrement, and uh, uh, I noticed that both of us set up uh, two beverages. Uh, one a beer, the other a hop water. Yeah. And uh, when he says, and it's showtime, we both grabbed instinctually a drink. I grabbed uh, an IPA and mm-hmm. walked off. You grabbed a hop water and yeah. walked off. And my favorite moment was when you walked all the way off stage and then you came back <laughs> and swapped out your hop water for, 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 the, for, the, for beer. the juice pack Tups Brewery IPA. Well, because I was Tups. Because I was trying to think, like, all right, what do I want first? And I initially thought I wanted a hot water. But you want to know what, Brian? Got all the way out there, and I decided, no. I want the beer first, <laughs> and then I'll cut it with the hop water. There you go. Land in the plane. Yeah. Like I'm, like I'm Captain Sully. Captain uh, in the water. Yeah. Getting it diluted. Get wet. Uh, you don't, you I'm don't... getting wet like Captain Sully. Uh, my my <laughs> that's uncle. What, that's what I... I'm gonna, I'm gonna sect somebody. <laughs> my, my, my uncle was friends with Captain Sully. Really? Yeah, he, he was a pilot. Did uh, he have any fucked up stories? Uh, yeah. There was this one time he was watching TV and yeah. he was watching golf, and they uh-huh. interrupted the golf game to show a plane land yeah. <laughs> in the river, and he's like, "The fuck is Sully doing on my TV?" Yeah. <laughs> Sully was like, "I want a shot on my boy." <laughs> <laughs> I told you I could do it. Uh, uh, heck of a week. Uh, uh, how it was we a hell begin? of a week. What was that? How shall we begin? What do you say we just go to our first topic? Brett's texting voice. Wait, what? <laughs> so we didn't do a live show last week because of the freeze. It was very dangerous on the roads, and so we didn't want to make everybody came come out. Brian and I just did a uh, audio only version. And so this is the first time that we're all seeing each other in two weeks. But in that interregnum, in our group chat for the show, we got a text. Uh, first of Wait, all, before you, yeah, you, you, you don't get to read it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You are uh, not allowed to read it, Brett. It, it was Brian so, has to read it. It was so odd. In fact, no, we're all going to read it. We're all going to read it at once, like a family feud answer. In in the voice that we heard it. Correct. And when we read it. it Say it in the way that I meant it. Uh, Correct. Uh, So So this was yesterday at 12. Make clear that yours doesn't matter. (laughs) (laughs) All that matters is ours. uh, Yeah. uh, All all that matters is how we read it. Your perception is my reality. Is reality. Yes. Oh, son of a. Yeah. Okay. Uh, first of all, previous thread, uh, me saying to the group, 
Hey, y'all, since the roads are going to be uh, super sketchy, Justin's coming now. We're going to do an audio-only recording for Great Night. Uh, thumbs up from Bryce. Thumbs up from Annalisa. Uh, uh, Brett, uh, all right, y'all be careful. One week later. <laughs> One week later. Outer, out of nowhere, uh, Brett hits us with, I say we do a show tomorrow. First question should be, hey, Brian, how's it going? And then I could go for a 30-minute walk and no one would notice. <laughs> Smiley. <Okay>. Wow. Aggressive. <laughs> yeah. Aggressive texting. I, I, I read it as... <laughs> <laughs> I say we do a show tomorrow. <laughs> the first question should be, hey, Brian, how's it going? <laughs> then I can go for a 30-minute walk <laughs> and... No one would notice. <laughs> Smiling face. <laughs> Bryce is the only one who had the courage to respond. I and so I, I just sent. I send the the most cowardly text you can send when you do send a text, <laughs> which is just two question marks. <laughs> Although, by the way, by the way, like you did it. In a boomer, like actual, like what? two question marks as another text, as opposed to the tap back. D he's got of, an of, Android of phone. He's got a green bubble. What do you fucking want? <laughs> wait, can you not just? All right, I'm so a if poor. I we keep talking about this. Wait, all right, so I just double tapped it with a question. What happened on your phone? Um, questioned. It says question. Yeah. yeah. Oh, think. by the way. Yeah. Oh. So Bryce, you can do it. You fucking ding dong. <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> But that doesn't just swing and I say we do a show right now. The first question will be Bryce, why did you type question mark question mark? So Brett, Brett, can 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 you take us into your can you can can we talk to Brett? Uh, can, yes. Is Brett first, here right my now? First question that I have hearing the is that what my voice sounds like to you guys all the time? 100% only, 100%, only, even only, now. only you even let me be around. Only, I, only see, I, 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 here. Let me say what you just said exactly the way you just said it. Why do you even let me be around? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you sound like. That's a perfect mimicry. Yeah. You know what? This time, this time, I'm gonna record it. Say something. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like now all you guys hear is. <laughs> all right, wait, 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 hold on. Yeah, yeah. Can go play it back. Yeah, yeah. Play it back. Yeah, yeah. You go ahead and play. <laughs> <laughs> Not even. I feel so attacked. <laughs> well, we felt like we felt. <laughs> <laughs> you, you hit us up sounding like you, that. You, 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 you <laughs> fucking cry bully. <laughs> oh, cry bully. I heard that. It's good. <laughs> All right, Brett. So how did Brett you one. how did I'm you quote Brett unquote one. mean it? By the way, this is how a group chat becomes nothing but actual voice recordings. Exactly. <laughs> that begin and end with the words "I love you." I love hey, you. Hey, here's a joke. Anyway, I love you. Yeah. Ooh. How did you mean it? Well, and also, what did it mean? What it meant was after knowing what had been happening yeah. the past week and and a few days, that I thought. What would be like, let's just call it that we know we're going to be doing this thing and it would be funny, right? Because we know there's going to be a lot of content on what happened over the past week. Where, okay, I think you're fine with that sentiment. The where, not to not to get into the notes here. No, that's text, okay. I, I, I love notes. But the, the where things took a weird turn were the then you take a walk for 30 minutes and <laughs> no one notices it. <laughs> Like, so there's a lot going into it where a, like, even if there were Brian and I talking b b between ourselves or, or by ourselves is the vast majority of the show, but yeah. we enjoy having everybody here. Sure. It would be weird if you got up and left <laughs> me, me, me. at any point, okay. let alone then I'll the value judgment that no one would notice that you left, like, make, which make, does seem a little myself a victim. It That's, does seem a little emo. Yeah. yeah. Maybe a punch up would be, we ask Brian what happened this week. We all leave for 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Brian okay. never notices. Now okay. I'm game for that plan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I thought the smiley face let it be known that I was. See, I don't. I don't. Yeah, I did I, think the smiley face definitely helped because yeah. there's a version of this that is even more sinister without oh, the smiley yeah. face. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yes. 
No, it it, it dug <laughs> six feet out of the ground. The <laughs> problem was you were twelve feet under. Right. <laughs> Uh, uh, so anyway, uh, sorry, so me. What do you want to, you want to get back to him real quick or? No. <laughs> you want to get back? <laughs> no, I, I had to, I'm, I'm expecting a call, right? You're expecting a call. Yeah, look, I want to buy a spaceship. I can go for a walk for 30 minutes. And <laughs> no one will notice. Wait, Smiley that, face. You know, you See how what? weird? You know what? See how weird. You know what, Justin? <laughs> I would notice if you took a walk. Thank, well, no, because that's immediately what comes out is that like, I, I want to be like, no, I'll, I notice. Well, uh, 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 Mostly because I look at you the entire show. So I would very much <laughs> okay. notice if you left right. for 30 minutes. Just so uh, you know, Brett. Uh, the next day, there was a brief moment where I was like, so what was that thing with Brett? And Bryce was like, I don't, I mean, I asked him. I put two, two questions. questions. Two, <laughs> two of them. <laughs> two and, of them. And, so and, it, and then after a little bit of gymnastics, I was like, oh, I bet he's making a reference to the fact that the most obvious thing is Brian's going to talk about the property and all the trees falling down and all that stuff. So, uh, uh, I eventually got there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and then why you, why then didn't you, you respond to Bryce's question? Ooh, that's I didn't a good know what question. The question. I thought the question was, and I thought somebody else was going to respond. You didn't think that that was you? But Bryce that was a direct re response to you, huh? Uh, huh? Is a call? Is actually, a question? You know what? You know I, what I'll I'm realizing? You, I'll bet you Brett was out walking. Assuming uh, nobody <laughs> noticed. I was, I was on my bicycle out, and Here, so here's what I'm realizing is. We all need to be better communicators. <laughs> we should. We should. Group chat should be a a, a a safe, fertile nest for us. Fertile. Yeah. So it can spawn more group chat. So it can be. Yeah. It can. It can. It can be uh, ideas and uh, <laughs> relationships can yeah. just you know they can grow. Yeah. They can be it, better people. It's like it's like it's like that old <laughs> spiritual hymnal. Yeah. Oh, that no, goes. Come on. What's what's that? Uh, what's that? Oh, what's that old? That old yard. Oh, 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 yes. <laughs> That's it. Okay. <laughs> Bryce, next topic. Next topic. Ah! Ice storms and accepting. <laughs> okay. Also, can somebody isolate Bryce screaming? <laughs> Hey, can we put that in? Can we put that in the singer? Yeah. So every time it's uh, do 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 do. do. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> right, so that needs to happen. Oh, God. Oh, oh, my God. So the big storm. Um, Ice yeah. storm a brewing. <laughs> I can see it coming. I knew it because my trick knee was tricky. <laughs> you ever seen a real life storm? Comes in black as night when you're not looking. Grabs all your live oaks. <laughs> snaps all your cedars like a hatchet. I really like this idea of the bar that's only the creepy guy at the bar. <laughs> All, all different versions of the creepy guy at the bar. <laughs> just <laughs> just like, old, old fisherman creepy guy. Uh, like, yeah, uh, you know, we've seen an ice storm. Teddy Confetti, tell him. <laughs> That's right. Let me tell you, you boys have never seen such an ice storm. <laughs> I'm yeah. telling you that it comes in silent. You think everything's okay. You think the temperature's a little cold. <laughs> and suddenly, snap. That's the cat <laughs> almost got hit by the limb. It's a terrible day, I tell you. I tells you. Teddy Confetti's awful nice, but you know who don't take no guff is the manager of this bar that we're at. Old Brickle. Hi, is it a party of three? I guess. Can I see you? Party of three. Do you, would you be like a booth or a table? <laughs> Man, okay. We were talking about the ice storms, Brickle. Why don't you come back this way? Here we go. Okay, go all way. right. <laughs> Look, everyone's got their own way to be creepy. That's everyone's got their the own way. Brickle. His is all good business. service. He's all business. Uh, so the ice storm happened. Uh, uh, boy, did it get icy. Yeah, and, and uh, we we talked a bit about it in other venues, but basically, um, 
it was 33 degrees in the sky, so there were no snowflakes. So rain very gently came down mm -hmm. with no wind at all. Uh, it was 33 degrees on the ground, so anything that hit the ground did not freeze, so all the roads were open. However, if you had the mistake to be 2 to 10 feet above the ground, like a tree would, yep. then uh, that's where everything froze. And I kid you not, man, you know, you know those perfect circular ice cubes that you get at, 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 at a hotel? Uh, yeah, at like a, a craft cocktail bar. Right. They like they, I remember one time in the uh the mission, I saw one of the funniest San Francisco things I ever saw while I was living there was a hipster in a tight ass shirt. This is like four o'clock in the afternoon at a very, very exclusive, like six seater cocktail bar that was making craft ice cubes with the tiniest chainsaw you've ever seen in oh your Oh my god. Life. And it was just like and this was like him like time to make the donuts. Like this was like like the bullshit side work is like me. But yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, Silly uh, ass uh, uh, ice cubes. Uh, by the way, the the dulcet sound of uh, the symphony of chainsaws Holy for shit. a week straight has been all Austin has heard yep. because, of course, uh, what happens is these giant ice cubes, you end up with like a thousand pounds of ice and, and these, uh, you know, 200 year old li live oaks eventually. Uh, 2,500 year old live oaks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, yeah, no, so they, they eventually they break, they break and they bend. Uh, uh, but I must say, if you are not a subscriber to the Jeff McLaughlin yes. Blair Witch show, we, we have live <laughs> reporting from Jeff, who was sitting here during this disaster. Uh, do we have audio? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh. All right. I have to be careful not to get under any trees or really anything capable of being frozen and falling. But, um, yeah, so we'll start over here. Oh, by the way, that, that sound is the grass. The grass was frozen solid. Luckily not. There's Luckily no snow on the ground. This damage, is not but, snow accumulation. Uh, covered in debris. And if you can see any of that up there, oh, this everything Gary. is fairly icy. <laughs> oh, Gary <laughs> is out. Poor truck. No broken windows. Uh, Brian was actually out here earlier, as near as we can tell. The only damage done, at least at this point, is this little area of the murder shed up there. <laughs> but for, for audio listeners, again, I don't get... it, it looks like a murder shed. So, yeah, uh, uh, yeah th this was the most tree carnage I have ever seen in my entire life, and that includes every hurricane that I have either been in or around. Mm -hmm. uh, they Austin does not trim trees in the way that Florida does because it doesn't usually have a reason to. Right. Uh, congratulations, Austin. You now have a reason to trim trees in a more fastidious manner, especially when it comes to I mean, growing actually, in between. We uh, have less of a reason now that Mother Nature has trimmed most of them for us. Well, sure, yeah. Uh, 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 but, but especially the ones that were growing in between power lines because that's part of the reason why the power apocalypse happened in the same way where, where like right now there are still thousands of people in Austin that do not have power yeah. uh, and they might not get it until the end of this week because the the way that the trees fucked with all the power lines and the substations, Austin Energy, for whatever good or bad job they did, had no idea of what the actual problem was. They would fix a grid and then have it break again because trees were just snapping. And that's what, like, when, when uh, uh, Jeff says, I got to make sure I'm not under a tree, it's because there was this terrifying 48 hours where the tree limbs were frozen solid and were just falling off the tree because the ice was so heavy. Oh, here we go. We got we got audio here. If you could back this up here, we have a live reaction. It's very scary. Whoa! <laughs> and because it was so quiet, that's why I don't walk under trees. <laughs> <laughs> it was so quiet. You would hear that from acres away. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. No. It was. It was just constant terror of of these things snapping and so now that has thankfully been replaced like you mentioned brian with the dulcet tones of every chainsaw in travis county operating at the exact same time harmonizing as trees are just being left 
out on the side of the road uh, because they're just getting collected by the city. But th this this was unique. I I've never seen anything like this before. Had you? Uh, uh, this was worse than, uh, so uh, the, the weeks long super ice apocalypse of what, three years ago, I think, uh, two years ago, years. Uh, two years ago, two yeah. years ago, uh, that, that was very, very unpleasant to go through, but we only lost, uh, I don't know, uh, six trees on the, on the acres. It, that was more cabin fever because the power outages were right. longer and you had the burst pipes. It was, it was awful for different reasons. Right. Th this was... It was like, okay, the roads aren't terrible. As long as you're not going over an overpass, you should be okay. Right. Uh, it was not snowy. Power outages were bad. But the reason why was because all these trees, it was like every house had a tree limb down. Yeah. Everywhere. It, and, and falling on, on houses and cars and, and crazy shit. Well, and uh, uh, Bonnie, apparently, uh, you know, I, I, I started... Uh, the heavy lifting was done by by Jeff and Kenan and and uh, Annalisa, but but uh, I helped a little with the chainsawing here at the property. But meanwhile, Bonnie was in uh, the neighborhood using a little six inch chainsaw, which, by the way, is the maximum size anyone needs for a chainsaw. I, I dispute anybody who asks for a big. It's a good chainsaw. size. Uh, and then, uh, 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 but but the whole neighborhood was out uh, uh, helping each other to uh, to saw shit down. The, yeah. Um, it, it was, it was scary. It, 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 did, did much happen up North to either you, Annalisa or Brett? Brett, why don't we start with you? Cause you're on mic. Oh, uh, uh, Brett just got back from his walk. Yeah. So. Got back <laughs> from my walk. Uh, no one noticed. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, uh, we were, we got out pretty well. Uh, I think we had like four or five limbs, but it was all none on the, we, we had one, uh, pecan limb drop on the roof. Mm -hmm. And shatter, uh, but the rest of the limbs else. were none. Yeah, yeah. We we're all good, and we cleaned it up. And you know, I didn't even lose power. So wait, 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 wow, yeah, wow, flex. Yeah. Uh, what about uh, what about up north? They were, we were fine. fine so. They were fine. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, trees. Yeah. Can't Brian, live with them. Brian asking, <laughs> interviewing somebody not on mic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Next I, story. No, no, hold on. I got a thing. Oh, oh. I don't Bryce care. has a topic. On Bryce Tuesday. Bryce has a topic. I don't, uh, no, on Thursday, you two also recorded The Bones. We uh, did. Uh, yep. The three yes. of you. Dread Heroically, Death. we came to a derelict property without any power whatsoever. Mm -hmm. We found a crazy squatter who was living there, and we said, would you like to run sound for us? Normally... Mm -hmm. We would have the highly trained professional Bryce Castillo, but he is too chicken to come out. Go ahead, Jeff. I'm sure you'll do great. Yeah, yeah no, Jeff Jeff did great. But yeah, so uh, 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 Bryce had no power, and power. we did the bones here. If yeah. I can tee you up here, Bryce. Please do. During the bones, we talked about this phenomenon that... Uh, Bryce was included in, but was not exclusive to Bryce, that there were many people that we knew that we were friends with that were out of power and that we had invited to stay at our places at least while they were out of power uh, because they'd be able to charge their phones. If, if their water wasn't heating, then they'd be able to get a shower or whatever. And we were commenting on the fact that there seemed to be, we had a shared experience that a lot of people did not want to leave their powerless apartments right and we were i don't think that we were showing judgment we were just noting a trend now that might not be how it came across to price oh, who shit. i now to turn over the conch <laughs> it's just it, i think some of my because you you very generously offered to 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 take me in and, yes and and house me and it wasn't like a it wasn't a a pride thing or any sort of like Role playing as a survivalist sort of thing, I, I, I just didn't want to leave the house. I, I, and partly I didn't want to become a burden on 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 someone else, right? Especially in the middle of all the outages and stuff. If I went over to y'all's place and then the power went out over there, then it's like, oh, this is like compounded on itself. Because <laughs> oh, could you uh, imagine like you show up and the power goes out and you're like, 
Yeah, well, there's nothing here for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna hit the hay. I'm gonna hit the road. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, well, Bryce, please know you would never be a burden. And also, like, we're like, we were like space arc in it. Like, it was not even a problem in our place. Uh, like, we didn't, we didn't lose shit. Uh, uh, although, to to comment on other shit that happened uh, uh, during the Bones episode, Brian's theory on why people would not want to come over to a fully functioning house was that uh, they could enjoy the excuse of not having to work that you could enjoy mm. the fact that there was it, nice there, there is something magical about a genuine snow day and, and i and you mocked me i was mocking brian yeah and i was like oh this is the most brian way to, to view it anyway because your perfect day is a day where no one is asking you to do shit and your worst day is where everybody is asking you to do shit uh and then i talked to jen briney who did come over to my place and she's like, yeah, it sucks. I have to do shit now. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, all right, I guess Brian fucking had to, <laughs> Brian had a beat on a portion of the population. I feel, I feel, I feel that you should be vindicated. Yeah. There was a portion of that. There was a portion in my mind that was like, ah, if I have enough charge on my phone, I'm not going to have a good reason to get out of making a short today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. I mean, and, and, and look, if there's ever a moment. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, Next story. Our next story. If a tree falls in an empty field. Oh, Christ, um, <clears throat> Bryce, Bryce, you, you want to take the lead on this one? Sure. So over the weekend, we uh, uh, filmed in a couple of new episodes of Modern Rogue. And, uh, you know, we've just been talking about all the trees and 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 a lot of damage, a lot of greenery damage around the property. Uh, and uh, people know that Brian's office is uh, a little... And it's a satellite shed. It's a little shed out there in the woods. And uh, there's a big, what is it, a china berry tree? China berry tree, an invasive species. It's it's real tall. I want to say, I don't know, 20, 50 feet tall. No one's quite sure. <laughs> and, yeah, that's quite a range. <laughs> we're not sure yet. And uh, uh, But it was very close to the shed. And if it fell the wrong way, it could have been a thing. Uh, was there an actual, like, a, a any sort of branches that... Oh, sure, sure. Balance? As a matter of fact, like, uh, every time there's a cold front that comes in, there's a bit of wind or whatever, all of the, the limbs up at the top are dead and desiccated, so oh. they all just break off super easy, and it's like, this thing is just a disaster waiting to happen. We need to, for responsibility, cut this thing down. Yeah. And um, so we, we go out and we, you know, we all shoot. We shoot the first part of the day, which is us just walking around and kind of surveying some of the damage, right? Here's a big tree that fell down. Here's a pair of big trees that fell down. Here's a different big tree that fell down. And uh, and then we wrapped up the day by saying, let's cut one of these motherfuckers down. Yep. <laughs> and yep. and uh, it, it took a little while. It did take us a little while to get there. But eventually we did fell the tree. Well, uh, yes, and this is where I'm going to be careful because I don't know what story the edit is going to say, but uh, okay. uh, there was moments of tension uh, yes. because because things got stuck uh, in the tree and uh, things got stuck uh, yep. in the tree. Yep. <laughs> things. <laughs> Maybe. Brian, pray tell what got stuck in the car keys. Did you lose your car keys in the tree? You didn't try to fuck that tree. This, did you try to fuck that tree? <laughs> this tree this tree was like a hentai porn. It had an ore in it at one moment. It had uh, yeah. hatchets Hatticles, in it. Some, two hatchets. It had, it had rocks. It had other trees in its tree. Uh, uh, we... We, we got to a place where we cut almost all of it, and then you you could see right through the middle of this thing, and we we followed all of the tree-cutting rules the correct way. The tree-cutting rules. Yes. <laughs> Did you look them up? Treecuttingrules.com? No, I went to YouTube. It was a YouTube search. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the YouTube from the actual chainsaw company. Like, here's how easy it is to cut down a tree. Just do the scooby doop and then make sure to cut from the blah doo doop doop and... You're good. Now, that, that worked great up mm -hmm. until the tree didn't want to go the right way. And while cutting, the tree is sort of just sort of leans over <laughs> and just, you know, decides to squish on the on the chainsaw. It's almost like it's oh! a <laughs> So you cannot remove the chainsaw. Uh it, it is exactly like the moment not so long ago that I described getting the jackhammer and say yes. this is easy and it went straight down to the ground and then stayed there for an hour gotcha. <laughs> and uh you know to to 
to to make a long story short, we brought that motherfucker down. We yeah, brought that mother- uh, I, I, we'll save the rest for the, for the episode that eventually comes out. But, but uh, t- uh, take a look at this this amazing footage. So uh, we had a, a drone, an unnamed drone operator on set uh, who Holy recorded license. this. And uh, uh, do you, oh 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 that's the wrong way. There it goes. Uh, uh, you know what? Good hey, good eyeballs. Brett. That's great. <laughs> uh, that looks awesome. It was very cool. You know what? It did end up being in an empty part of the field. So that's good enough. Yeah. It, 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 it maybe was about 90 degrees off, but you know what? It could have been way worse. All humans were out of range. We all have made mistake in the 90s. Uh, uh, <laughs> all, all, all humans except for Bryce, me, and Jason were out of range, at which point it becomes clear that the tree is moving, and Bryce <laughs> stammers and just speaks gibberish for a moment, and he later reveals that he couldn't remember whether he was supposed to shout four or timber. <laughs> Please, did you say timber? You... <laughs> and you will hear on the program, you'll hear me go, four, timber, timber. <laughs> It's going down. I'm yelling for you. Better move. You better dance. <laughs> so that's going out this month on Modern Day. Keep an eye out for that. Oh, uh, by the way, take a look at all of the dead limbs. If you could play one more time, look at all the dead limbs. Yeah, just they, yeah, they just load like shatter, all over yeah. the place. One of them bounces and, ah. hit and lands in the next yard over wow. there. Wow. Oh. Thank yeah. goodness it's gone. Amazing. All Thank right, next gone. topic. All right, next topic. The Pope of oh, Sunset Valley. Oh, <laughs> this is all your fault. They refused to tell me oh, what this was. Oh, this is all my fault. Oh, no. All my fault. My plan was... Shh. Your plan is to shut the fuck up. Because <laughs> this is my story. Tell it. You tell it. When I said, you have to let me drive, your response was, yes, because if I talk, I'll make things up. (laughs) Actual words. So Saturday, because of how this month is is shaping up, I'm going to be out of town during all the weekends except for one. And so we had to do prep planning for the press rollout of World's Greatest Con. We had to schedule some time to do it. And so we come out to Backspin. I come out to Backspin. And uh, uh, we're having a good time. We're eating. We're having a drink. And uh, and then we get into the flow of planning the press stuff. So then for, we're like, for, for what? World's Greatest Cut. Yeah. Season three. And uh, so then we're writing all these things down. And then we're like, oh, shit. Uh, uh, we got to talk to Cargill. Let's talk to Cargill. So Brian is two drinks in. And he's like, well, fuck. Hey. Two drinks in Brian, a, a fired up and motivated Brian, regardless of alcohol, there's, there's nothing that stands between what needs to happen and an action that can be taken right now. Yes. But it's even more saucy if it's two drinks in. Yes. And so he's like, like I'll fuck, call Cargill right now. Beep, 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 beep. Cargill! <laughs> Cargill! <laughs> well, we got to see you, man. Give me a call. Cargill! Boop. Cargill calls back immediately. Uh, uh, hey, we got a story to tell you. <laughs> what are you doing? He's like, I'm getting a haircut. We're coming over. Oh, my God. <laughs> Go to Cargill's. You crashed his haircut? We did. Yes. <laughs> uh, so we're sitting there. We're talking to Cargill. And Brian walks in. And he's like, uh, it's like, ah. <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't uh, think of a way to tell you. Mm. Pour me a whiskey. I'll tell you a story. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're adding whiskey on top of the drinks that we had before. The story's long. It involves several whiskeys. We're telling him the whole plot of season three. Uh, he's given us great advice on how to market it, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then eventually we're like, okay, we got to go. Uh, I think I need to go home to meet my wife. Right. My wife had gotten it, bored it, with uh, not me not coming home. <laughs> <laughs> so she was like, "Then Uber is literally here. I'm going to go to this wine bar and work 
uh, fuck you. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so now we, instead of driving Brian home, I'm like, we're going to go get some food. Yeah. A smart plan. Is there anything that you would like to correct? It, yes. What? There is, a, there is some delicious top spin <clears throat> of, uh, I know that you need to get home. And Cargill says, what say we go get steaks right now? And I look and, and you say, Oh, no, no, no. I've got to get home to my wife or yeah. I'll be in trouble. Yes. And I say, we'll get steaks tomorrow night. And end of everything. We walk out. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Ashley. Phone. Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> no, because that's the other thing. Ashley <laughs> is annoyed that I have not come home for hours. And, and I was supposed to be home. I did not know. Unbeknownst to me, she's like planned the idea that this is going to be a date night. Oh, and so no. she's, she's already. It, uh, this is poor communication between the two of us. But she's kind of annoyed, and I'm trying to do my best to soothe things. And I'm like, uh, uh, hey, what's going on? We're, we're on our way back now. Uh, I've already planned on just driving back to our place and then buying, getting an Uber for Brian to come back. But as I'm trying to soothe this very, you know, uh, uh, frayed situation, I have a drunk Brian Brushwood in my car while I'm on speakerphone going, hey, we're here. <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, well, and, and so at, at any point, uh, Justin, <laughs> <laughs> Justin so, hangs up and I'm figuring, all right, Justin's going to go home. I'm going to get an Uber home. Everything's going to be fine. And then Justin says, uh, and, and I'm like, so we're heading on back to the property or something. And then Justin says, nope. We're getting a steak. <laughs> so we go to BJ's in Sunset Valley, at which point we notice that this is kind of prime time Saturday night. Unbeknownst to us, the day has gotten away from us. This is now the dinner rush mm -hmm. on Saturday night at a suburban BJ's. Uh, Brian, I don't know if you're aware, I've does not like lines. He does not like waiting for things. And so when you walk into a suburban BJ's and you see a bunch of families sitting on those little benches in front of the high school girls who are writing things on a transparency, that looks like we're going to wait for a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we are both seasoned travelers. We yep. both know that you don't go and talk to the hostess. You walk right to the bar. You see what is open. And so I go to two empty spots at the bar. Now, they've got people right next to it. It's not ideal for us to, to bullshit and talk, but it is, it is at least two seats at the bar, and then there's another high top that's people just left, and it's got a bunch of shit on it. Re relevant to the story is a few weeks ago, we were in Las Vegas, and I ended up, and they only pay out in hundreds. Ended up? Oh, ended up. Uh, you were ahead. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, oh no, <laughs> <laughs> Brian and I are waiting there in the bar. I'm at the bar trying to flag down the bartender to see whether or not those high tops need to be sat by the hostess or if we can just camp out there and wait for a bus boy. Right. The bus boy shows up, to which point, Brian <laughs> Brushwood. The oh, no. Pope of Sunset Valley <laughs> oh, <no>. oh. <laughs> approaches this fucking 18 year old bus boy and says hey what's your name oh, no. uh lucas lucas god i do remember his name was <laughs> lucas here's a hundred dollars i want to sit at this table <laughs> oh my fucking god <laughs> Holy shit on a cracker Christ. <laughs> <laughs> fucking what? <laughs> fucking shit. What? <laughs> so which point? So <laughs> 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 <To> which point? <laughs> Lucas <laughs> who's never had an ethical conundrum like this <laughs> in his life, <laughs> has found himself at ground zero at his job at his suburban BJ's, <laughs> says, uh, 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 I, I'm going to go ask. Oh. If you can't, then I'm going to give you the $100 back. Wow. <laughs> That's a good, good boy. And Brian, and Brian goes, 
okay. We just wait, and then eventually we sit there because you didn't need to pay a hundred dollars to sit there. But <laughs> but Lucas got a hundred dollars, and we were we were we were the hey, stars. Hey, no, Lucas. Uh, the the uh, uh, suburban BJs, and indeed Lucas found himself blessed by, by the, the Pope. Pope. Of Sunset Valley. Yes. Can we get a little bit of the father and the son? <sighs> Can you give us a little father and son? <laughs> Just a little bit. Oh, bit, bit, bit. oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. oh, no, yeah. no, no. Here, 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 here. In Sunset Valley, it's only uh, there's the sunset and then there's the valley. <laughs> That's how we do it. <laughs> uh, do we have anything else in the hopper? That'll do it. Ladies and gentlemen, patreon.com slash great night is where you need to go. If you would like to support this show, you get your bonus episode right there every single Thursday. The bones is what we call them. Bones. And they rattle your brain exclusively. If you are a patron at any level, head on over there right now. I'll, t- I'll tell you what, some of the, some of the bones episodes are so good. I'm, I'm getting a little tickle because I, I listen to some other podcasts and I hate them for doing it. But they give a little taste of their behind the curtain content, and then they cut it off. Let's let's have a conversation about that. Right. I actually I actually despise that, but uh, uh, we well, can talk. But, but it's what, good. It's really good shit. <laughs> it's really, it's really good shit. Okay. Yes. Don't, it's don't, really good shit. Don't make me give you some for free. It's crack. It's really we will, good. Yes, we will. If you don't pay us money, we'll give you some for free. And yeah, we'll that's right. You. And then you'll really yeah. hate us. There we go. <laughs> uh, hey. Right. Uh, no, 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 no. We we got to check in on uh, 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 Founders Day picnic. Oh, yeah. picnic. Corner picnic. moment with Anna Lisa. Come on up here. We're gonna bring up on Anna Lisa. Anna Lisa. On there in the middle there. Anna Lisa. I'm not gonna say that. Uh, uh, you, you know, in the Myers Briggs test, there are uh, 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 perceiving and judging types, and the perceiving types tend not to plan. They just sort of. Hand a hundred dollar bill to Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> but judging people are the real heroes because they actually write lists. Uh, how many days is it until Founders Day picnic? As of this uh, recording, it is fifty three days. Ooh. That seems close. It is. Okay. We got some work to do. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, uh, where we where are we at? Uh, what we have is seven acres of tree garbage. Uh, yeah, that's a problem. Bunch of broken <laughs> chairs. Uh huh. Okay. Yep. Uh, have have have, have we booked uh, portalettes yet? Uh, they're ready and waiting. <gasps> oh. Ooh. As for us to book them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, sir. Right. I need money first. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> that's one for the list. All right. I got. I got you it. better book him quick, cause cause I might be setting up a competing. April 1st event called the Piss Derby. <laughs> Wait, where you charge people? Yep. To, like It's like going to the to carnival race. Where, where you have a bullseye and I'm, everyone yeah. goes at I'm, the same I'm, time I'm actually the just going to go up. fix, yeah, I'm going to fix, uh, uh, one event is going to be the balloons, the other is going to be for strength, <laughs> where you piss as hard as you can and then you see whether or not you can ring the bell. Sir, but, you don't need porta-potties, you need a trough. Uh well all right uh, or I carnival did, I, I, equipment I didn't I didn't know I was talking to an inventor <laughs> <laughs> uh so uh if it, right. are there can people still get in on yeah yeah mm-hmm. so uh our our target number is uh slightly over a hundred that's about how many people we can uh, accommodate comfortably right now we're uh what just under seventy five. That's that's what I heard. Yeah. Uh, uh, and is it? I should probably know the URL. Is it picnic.scamstuff.com? Or is it mm-hmm. founders? Stop. This is the kind of shit we have. I'll give you a hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's founders.scamstuff.com. There that we makes go. sense. That definitely uh, makes sense. Uh, come on out. It's, it's, you it's, have it's... no idea the eyes on Lucas when this motherfucker tried to palm him off a seat. I do remember those, those eyes. <laughs> 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 that was how the long? Moment. How long had you had that in the chamber? Because you were sitting there smiling like a Cheshire cat before it happened. Oh, well, what happened was, is I just looked in my pocket and I saw one of the Vegas hundreds, and I was like, I know what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do this for Justin. <laughs> <laughs> I brought Vegas rules to Sunset Valley, <laughs> and then and when I saw that reaction, I realized, oh wait, they don't. Exactly. That would be nothing in Vegas. That would be all like, oh, yeah, we'll get yeah. you in in 20 minutes. Sure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But yeah. for Lucas, oh, he's going to be spending that money until he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Brandon. <laughs> well, hopefully he'll invest it in uh, uh, 
a ticket to the Founders, Founders Day. Day picnic. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, if you if you search on scamstuff.com Founders Day picnic, you're gonna find it there. And and from what you guys have said, uh, under 30 tickets available, and this is going to be a very fun, very intimate event. Uh, uh, ICS is going to be there. We're obviously going to be there. Uh, we we're, yeah, uh, we're, we're closing in on, um, I, I believe Jomo is all but confirmed. Um, I, I have to actually confirm. Uh, it's waiting. He's, you know what? He's ready for me to book him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, a whole day of, of, of magic, comedy, uh, shenanigans, uh, food, fun. Just seeing people. Seeing each other. Uh, Turns out that's one of the most popular uh, polls for this event. Can, yeah. can can I can I propose something that um, I, I kind of want to do? It doesn't have to be a whole bunch of them, but I would like to think of one silly classic corporate picnic event, like a three-legged race or a potato sack something or a, 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 a beer baseball or something. The last one sounds like liability, uh, but 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 the uh, uh, I don't know. Wait, no. Uh, oh, we a, will a have cornhole tournament. Beer, beer, yeah. beer baseball uh, rips less ACLs than the three-legged race. <laughs> I will I will assure you. Okay, all right, but whatever it is, I, w- I want to have something that involves a trophy and just yes. a friendly. I want the tournament. I, I, I want it to be everybody gathered around for one silly thing, whatever the silly thing is. We've done yes. a lot of card games. We could do like a skull tournament or. A... Ooh, that'd be great. We could have liars a, a whole dice bracket of of of, of liars dice bracket or that, that, any that kind of bluffing oh, game. Oh. I found that should be a buy-in thing. Now we're just Probably. doing. Now we're just gambling. Doing, we're actually running illegal well, gambling. Uh, we, we're Which also doing a, 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 a certain a, pope, a, a fucking uh, uh, idea brainstorm on the show. Okay. Well, as it happens, I have uh, I have found a way to make a giant liar's dice set so that the audience would be able to see with the dice rolls because the wow. dice are like this big. Oh so for the final, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All right. We'll, we'll continue to brainstorm as uh, we uh, go week by week. How many? Uh, 50 million? 53 million? days 53. from today. Okay. All right. Million? The last week kind of put a little damper on things. So yeah. Yeah. Our, our to-do list has a couple of more tasks. Um, now we're a lot us. of trees and branches. But yeah, maybe, uh, How about a fun game for who can, who can clear the most brush? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Annalisa, everybody. All right. Founders Day. Uh, search for it, yeah, on on uh, scam stuff. Uh, again, if you are thinking about going, if you have the time, it is on April Fool's Day. Uh, trust me, you're gonna want to do it. If you yeah. are listening to my voice right now, it is worth it for you if you have the time and money. Okay, price. Okay, a game to play. A game indeed. We've got one of our favorites. It's a classic. You know it. It's Would You Rather. Yeah. Hey-oh! I have gone to our uh, our good friend, the original chat bot, well, the original bot, the would you rather bot, W-I-R underscore bot, uh, has been sleeping, a little bit of hibernation lately, but I went there and found some of the best ones. I'm going to give you a would you rather either, or you're going to have to tell me uh, which one you would rather, and if you get the same one that the internet said that they would rather, you'll get a point. Cool. Easy. Our highest paid correspondent, the would you rather bot. That's right. At zero dollars. Yes. That Brett, was, would you like that to- was implied. Brett, would you like to play? No, thank you. I'm going to take a walk. <laughs> <laughs> will, uh, will, will you be able to keep score while you're on that I walk? Will, okay. I will. Okay. I'll give you the wireless headset. You can go hear it while you're on it. We'll see if anybody notices. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The Reggie's knows that he's sent a text. <laughs> How the shows are going to go. <laughs> he takes a walk. And no one notices. <laughs> and no one notices. <laughs> Do-do. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, we got our first one here. Justin, this one's going to you. Oh, no, that's it. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, Justin, would you rather be fruit or be vegetables? <laughs> oh, man. In this economy? <laughs> Uh, I think I think you got to be fruit, right? Everybody likes fruit more than vegetables. They don't call it vegetable ninja. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. Yeah, I, I uh, fruit some, sweeter. Some, it, by all measures, I'm told that you are correct. There's all the better words. Uh, 
they, they don't call it the vegetable of the loins. They don't call yep. it the vegetable of the loom. Yep. They call it the fruit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go vegetable. I broccoli my pants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I gave her the old asparagus. Wait, hold on. What's the fruit equivalent of that? Uh, I gave her the rusty banana. <laughs> <laughs> yes, answered. <laughs> All right, we got your answers here. Brian, you said vegetable. Justin, you said fruit. We were looking for... We were looking for be fruit. Yeah. That's a Justin point. Mm, that was my favorite yeah, Bruce Lee good. quote. Which would you rather be, be pretty or ugly? <laughs> be fruit, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Brian, we're going to you on this one. I'm ready. Which would you rather? Would you rather on the bottom of the pyramid or at the top of the pyramid? <laughs> what a trick question. Because we all know that at the bottom of the pyramid is where the pterodactyls cannot find you. But I'm going to go to the top of the pyramid. I mean, I would say if you look at them pyramids, uh, the bottom of the pyramids are still there. The top of them have been eroded and, and stolen by brigands and thieves. Uh, yeah, that's why you should pick bottom. I'm going to stick to top. Yeah, I'll go. I'm, I'm going. I'm, yeah, I guess you want to know what I am? I'm a cornerstone. I'm a load bearing person. I would like to be thanklessly at the bottom of the period. Pyramid. Definitely also, load. my job is done way earlier. <laughs> Actually, yeah, like you have to finish and then walk all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Brian said he would be the top, and Justin said the bottom. We were looking for. Vegetables. At the top of the pyramid. That's a Brian Paul. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Well, uh, you sound a little bit suspicious. No, I'm not suspicious. Well, Why do you think I'm suspicious? I'm sorry. Is it's, it because I'm talking like this? Well, it's just so hard to hear you all the way down there. Why don't why don't you come? Come on up. Come Just come a little bit closer. Uh, enough of your highfalutin top of the pyramid bullshit. Oh, no, but I have, I have a present for you. It's either a fruit or a vegetable. Well, which is it? Mm -hmm. Only one way to find out. Why don't you come on up? I don't know. Why don't we add a third complication to this bit by asking for the next question? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Our next question. And Justin, we're going to start with you on this one. Would you rather battle an expert killer... <laughs> Or battle a megalodon. <laughs> An expert killer or a megalodon. We're assuming that the, the megalodon is at least an average killer. <laughs> at worst, right? Or at, at worst, an average killer. It, it's not an expert killer because otherwise it'd be the same thing. I, I, I want to help you out here. Um, an expert killer might not be another human it might be in a, a creature yeah some variety. oh no i'm i'm, I'm assuming that, yeah. that an expert killer can be of any also, any any species I, or, i'm not certain but i think a megalodon is underneath the water so if i'm in a boat you know have a pokey stick i mean maybe the megalodon is an expert killer but it ain't it ain't never seen this stick from a boat before so you think if you're on a boat Mm -hmm. that you're more in danger of the megalodon or, 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 or the expert killer. Sorry, it's hard to hear you. I'm so high up on this pyramid. I'm asking for a straight answer because I have a punchline. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I, uh, uh, what was the question? If you're on a boat... Yes, I think I would take out a megalodon before an expert killer. No, I'm saying, are you more in danger of a megalodon or an expert killer? On the boat. I would think an on expert the boat. killer, yeah. Okay, well, fuck. I thought you were going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I reconsidered my answer, and oh my I realized God. it's Megalodon. I'm more afraid of the Megalodon. Ask Natalie Wood. Oh, oh God damn it. Oh. Uh, uh, too soon. Too soon? Too soon. Ask Christopher Walken. All right, we're <laughs> Justin, we're starting with you on this one. Strangely silent. Yeah. I will battle a megalodon, battle in a megalodon. Just you know what? I'm going to be on the Fuck side. It, go on Wikipedia, whatever. Like, it's a tragedy. <laughs> well, it's yeah, tragedy. but this is it's a comedy. Tragedy. This, yeah. is a co this is a comedy. And there's a thin fucking line. Uh, yeah, it's real thin. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to battle. probably doing thin lines. That's how shit broke down. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna battle an expert killer. Uh, 
And before we reveal this, <clears throat> come on, come on up. I'm gonna, uh, come on up. I, I gotta All give right, a I'm making fix. my way up the pyramid, but we have to meet halfway. Uh, well, yeah, sure. All right. Oh, ow, my ankle. I, hold on, give me a moment. Just keep coming. All right, keep I'm coming, coming on up, up man. Sorry, uh, I got a bunion. An onion, what? Oh, wow. Comedy, here we go. Kick you down the pyramid. I'm the expert killer. Ow. <laughs> we'll see Drama! where this goes from here. <laughs> and see. <laughs> and then a megalodon <laughs> drags me into the water like Sam Jackson in Deep Blue Sea. <laughs> All right, we got your answers here. Brian said an expert killer. Justin said a megalodon. We are looking for Battle of Megalodon. That's a Justin point. Doodly boo. I, because I, they're fake. Wait, what? No, yeah. no, they got a jaws in them and everything. Do they? Yeah, they made a movie about it. How do you think? How do you think they do the claymations with them? I thought they were fake. No, no, you're you're thinking of a Sela camp, camp. Yeah, you're oh, thinking that? of Sela camp. Yeah, yeah, they they were real too. Were they? Yeah. So how you're wrong twice. How do we know? <laughs> Maybe. How you. do we know? <laughs> were they ever on Oprah? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> how do we know? I love. I love. Dipshit logic. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Never been in what? one kitchen. Uh, what? Can you prove they weren't? Yeah. <laughs> they trying to get the butt? <laughs> oh, my God. Can we talk about no, how good? Oh, we're not going to talk right, about how right, funny right. another comedy sketch was. Okay, it's, worth, it's bad enough I'm fucking drafting off their fucking <laughs> comedy. Brian, we're going to start with you on this one. Ready? Got a would you rather for you. Would you rather... Have hoverboards be invented or have lightsabers be invented? Oh, no. One I feel like would get me to work faster. The other I feel like is a murder weapon. <laughs> so I'm going to say more transportation, less <laughs> murder. That's my platform, and I'm sticking to it. Brian, what were you doing Sorry, over the you. last five days? In your property? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, a lightsaber chainsaw. Or just a lightsaber. Just a fucking ass. lightsaber. Yeah. Lightsaber, man. Do you know how uh, fast you, you, this shit uh, uh, No, nope, you, you sorry, you locked it you in. You convinced me. You locked you it in. Me. Oh, fuck, I take lightsaber. Fuck, 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 you take hoverboard. Fuck. I'm sorry, Brian. You need more power. <laughs> you bojo. <laughs> we were looking for... Have hoverboards be invented. Oh! I'm doing an ollie on a pyramid. I'm throwing parsnips everywhere. You're doing an ollie? <laughs> I'm expert killing. <laughs> How do you ollie on a hoverboard? He's becoming too powerful. <laughs> yep. He's an expert killer on a hoverboard that Throwing throws vegetables <laughs> and lives on top of a pyramid. <laughs> He's the perfect villain. The only thing that could make him more powerful is the next question. <laughs> but before we get to our next question, Brett, what is the score after four questions? The score, surprisingly, Brian has two. Mm. Justin also has two. Oh. oh. There we go. At, Brett. Hey, flip. Brett, do, who do you think is going to win the game? Just they, they don't they can't hear this. I'm gonna right. they, they can't hear this. Who, who do you think's really, gonna win the game? Really, are we, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Who's gonna win the game? Okay. Who do you think? Uh, is it Brian? Is it Justin? Is it me? Am I gonna win? You always win. Uh, I know I always win. But who's between the two of them? I think it's gonna be Justin. Salary crunch. I think it's gonna be Justin. Hey uh, Brad. Justin. Yeah. I notice you. <laughs> oh. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. All Engage right. Engage expert killer mode. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time for another correct. Change form of Megalodon. <laughs> oh, no. well, next question, please. Right. <laughs> We're going to start with Justin on this one. Justin, would you rather have 5,000 <laughs> random superpowers or have 100,000 random dollars? That's interesting because uh, uh, 100 random dollars, I would assume that, that the random element would be the denominations. So some of them could be a $100 bill. Some could be 20s. It could be some Lucases. Some could be Canadian. Some could be Canadian. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm going to go with a hundred thousand random dollars because that actually is some shit I can do. Five thousand random superpowers. Uh, God knows what what it's going to be, and I know that Brian's going to pick that one no matter what because <laughs> uh, uh, every fucking hypothetical that involves the dumbest superpowers means he's going to go on a carnival tour showing off his fucking superpower because that's his answer to all of these hypotheticals. So it's like, first, my left <laughs> bicuspid begins to glow, and I'm disappointed. But then I smell happiness yeah. <laughs> from 500 yards away. And then my left leg turns into a tentacle, but also splits into uh, robot legs. <laughs> and I'm like... All right, I'm in. 5,000 superpowers. Let's keep on going. You truly would be the last American hero. You truly would be the shittiest well, super no, no. scroll. Oh, the greatest American greatest hero. American. Yeah, yeah. What? I said you would be the shittiest super scroll. Uh, AKA super scroll. Super scroll. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So Justin said dollars. You going to go superpowers, bro? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. No, I'm all the yeah. way in. Rolling them dice. You're talking to a guy who gave $100 bills to a busboy. <laughs> <laughs> Still awesome. Is that a superpower? All well, right. Uh, we got our answer here. Oh, also, by the way, one of the powers might be when I blink, $100 bills come out of my eyeballs. And then <laughs> won't you be jealous? You'll be like, well, I yeah. have a lot of dollars, but I'm like, bing, bing, And bing, won't bing. Lucas be thrilled? <laughs> 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 we were looking for have 5,000 Five! random superpowers. That's a Brian point. Fly it around. <laughs> One of my powers is to uh, squeeze my belly button like a pimple, and it just <laughs> shoots out an onion <laughs> that rolls down a hill of, of the pyramid. Boop, 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 boop. I, boop, 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 boop. I very sadly, as a megalodon, eat the onions. <laughs> All right, Brian, we're going to start with you in this one. Well, well, while I account for 100,000 random dollars <laughs> on my taxes, <laughs> I Google with my Megalodon fins, how do you reflect 100,000 random dollars on taxes? <laughs> Brian, our block. ready. Would you rather? Yep. Would you rather get first dibs or last oh last? Oh, my God. <laughs> what would Jesus do? Wow. <laughs> Would you get first dibs oh. or the last laugh, my friend? Let's look at the historical record. <laughs> I think he got the last He's laugh. He's on the cross. Yeah. Getting one last chuckle in. Uh, well, no, <laughs> that's not the end. Of, have you read the book? Yeah. <laughs> He's because, on the cross you know, and he goes, uh, get better. Uh, 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 <laughs> Y'all fucked up. <laughs> That's when the maniacal laugh comes over Jesus. No, he's not a maniacal <laughs> laugh. He's not. <laughs> and he's like, "Do exactly you realize I who I am?" It's not the end of the killing joke. Like, like it's 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 a it's a sensible chuckle. He he gives like a little like, <laughs> y'all fucked up. Cap counter thought. Uh, I, 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 That's how it goes, right? He who laughs last didn't get the joke. What? Such a dad joke. <laughs> <laughs> the Jeff, I've never heard Jeff, Jeff, Jeff be judgy Jeff, before. Jeff, was Jeff, Jeff just now. said, for fuck's sake. <laughs> like with real hate in his heart. <laughs> That's, okay, uh, you know what? Uh, uh, it's, Brian, first dibs or last laugh? The last laugh. Oh, oh. What a cope. Last laugh is such bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. No but one really wants you know the what? last you know laugh. What? You want first dibs. I'll, I'll tell you what. You know what? I'll give you first dibs. Which of the choices do you want? First dibs. Okay. You have first dibs. Which Good. of the choices do you want? <laughs> <laughs> you can have free beer tomorrow. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Fuck all this. <laughs> This is the last episode of the show if fucking last laugh is fucking correct. I'm just saying. I'm out. I got too much shit on my hands. All right. I'm, I'm a fucking megalodon. I'm eating none of the fruit. I'm at the bottom of the pyramid. Brian's squeezing fucking onions out of his urethra. That's another one. It's his belly button and the urethra. Oh. He's got 5,000 powers. One of them was sure to be urethra-based.
<laughs> we were looking for last line. Yeah. 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 Good night, everybody. It's been a great 13 years. <laughs> All right, Justin, we're going to start with you on this one. Yeah. Would you rather... Would you rather dance or beat all? <laughs> I'm going to say uh, beat all. I'm beating all. All showing up, I'm beating you. Beating you like a random mule. <laughs> you know Beating what? you like my meat in high school. <laughs> Beating you like a couple of eggs. <laughs> you know, I, it's I'm, I'm, there's only one problem with being at the top of this pyramid: <laughs> shooting vegetables with one of my five thousand superpowers, squirting onions from my belly on a hoverboard. And the problem is, I lack rhythm. I would really like to dance. Oh, interesting, baby. All right, there we go. We got, again, two different answers here. We're going to go to the computer and see who was it. They would rather dance. Yeah. Oh, that's not fuck. Hey. That's the problem with this entire generation. They want to dance instead of compete. Spurting onions, spurting onions, shooting them off the pyramid wall. All right, all right. Enough, enough, enough. All right. It, it's fucking paradoxical that I haven't beat him. I beat all. <laughs> Yet not him. He's dancing. Did you get I don't the first like that. Beating all? What the fuck's the point of beating well, all if I'm well, not going to beat everybody? What, what, if, what if I'm just you in the future? <laughs> That's why you can't defeat me. I swear to God, if, that, if this next question is, uh, would you rather Brian be you in the future? <laughs> I mean, the real thing is dancing wins. Well, don't that beat all. All right, sorry. He's joined I, my side. That's uh, one of my. I don't like. I saw him. Powers. I noticed him. <laughs> I'm going for a while. And here's what I get: jack shit. That's what I get. I get nothing. I get a bag of shit. I was I have thinking to eat. you were gonna win. Come well, on. I know. Yeah. And how? How fucking? What good did that do me? Well, nothing. That's what it did. You need to. You need to work from your heart. Bryce, what's the next question? <laughs> okay, it's time for our final round before we do that. Brett, what is the score going into our the final round? The score is Brian has five points. Justin has two, but he's coming. Here we go. He's coming. Oh, I'm, I'm coming. I nut. <laughs> he's going to Jimmy nut Carter. Just like Jimmy. <laughs> nut. Chris, this is our eight point round, so it's still anybody's game. Uh, all righty. Brian, we're going to start with you here because you're in the lead for this game. Would you rather need to sleep or need to sleep? <laughs> what have you done? Would you rather A? What have you done? Need oh, to sleep. Oh, look at you. What have you done? On top of your pyramid. <laughs> thinking all was well, squeezing onions from parts <laughs> unknown on your hoverboard. <laughs> what have you done? Oh, now. Do you need to sleep or rather diametrically opposed? <laughs> do you need to sleep? Oh, oh dear. Uh, one of my 5,000 powers is I'm an android. <laughs> <laughs> the paradox, it confuses. Uh, let me shut down. I need to sleep. So you wouldn't need to sleep? Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> Uh, this is a hard question. Yep. I need to sleep, sleep, sleep. Uh, I'm going to go with, sleep. yes, I so need you're to going sleep. with need to sleep. Yeah. Not need to sleep. No. You're going with need Sorry. to sleep. <clears throat> there's need to sleep. Yeah. And then there's need, need, sleep. need to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going with need to sleep. Oh, I need to sleep. Not need to sleep. Correct. Gotcha. Oh, I need to sleep. You need to, what, what are you doing with your hand? I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm, you're punching sleep. Well, oh, well, that's one of my powers. Is, is that you punch is sleep. sleep? It's a combination of two powers. It, it, it seems like you're, you're punching in and out. Right. Well, so uh, uh, in and uh, out, in and out. You're punching sleep. So okay. what is that? I mean? also need to fist sleep. Apparently, you need to with your. You need to punch it with your fist. Yes. Isn't that what that means? Yeah. So okay. Then you can dance. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna go with. I need. I I need to sleep. You need to penetrate sleep. Well, I, I, I need to pierce the veil. Sleep. Yes. What about you? Oh, I need to sleep. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Would, uh, would you Would you like um, something to eat? Maybe a little. Maybe a little vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I'll tell you what. Maybe a leak. Uh, you know what? Maybe a leak to sleep. Okay. The leak mm -hmm. is a different one. Let me just uh, shake my right. Leg, my left leg. Okay, that's fine. I'll just catch you at the bottom of the pyramid. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's a nice little leak. Oh. You just eat the leak straight? <laughs> well, that's how I sleep. <laughs> and I need to sleep. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's good. Well. I'm going to go to sleep now. Hey, Because uh, yeah, uh, I need it. Uh, I need it. Just, just check. W wacky idea. Yeah. Uh, you ain't got no sleep. Because I just want to let you know I need to sleep. Yeah. I, well, I need. So this is not like a. Uh, should I? Uh, like, like this is I need. It's a necessity. I I need to sleep, and I'm. Yeah. Do you have like a sleep lightsaber or or some sleep fruits? No. <laughs> I can. Is this is this need to sleep more sleeping? Are we wait? Because I'm about to go to sleep, and I yeah. need to sleep. <laughs> Are we all good? I mean, I'm fine, but I need okay, to but sleep. I need, I need to sleep. I need to sleep. <laughs> me, 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 me. He's like, this motherfucker. I'm gonna throw a me, leap. Me. What yeah. the <laughs> fuck? I'm trying. I. This is not like last warning, guys. Yeah. I no. need to sleep. Okay. Well, I need to sleep. I need. I feel the need. You know what? The need <laughs> for sleep. I just remembered that my 2,437th power is to let megalodons sleep upon command. Okay. Would you like to sleep? Sure. Sleep. That one doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, just so you know that, uh, let me maybe look for another power. Maybe look for another power. Well, I've got, okay, yeah. hold on. I've got, I, mean, uh, like, I, I understand you got 5,000 of them, so, so maybe some of them don't work. Okay, you know what? Uh, yeah. I don't have a power for this, but I believe melatonin is a vegetable. So let me just squeeze my belly. <laughs> Those are melatonins down there. I'm not going to touch them. <laughs> okay, uh, hold on. Are you done? Because I need to sleep. <laughs> you just want me to be quiet over here? Well, I, I, I don't care what you do. I just need to sleep. Okay, I just want to let you know. What, so if you are engaging me in a conversation, power, I, I just want to let you know that I need to sleep. My 57th power is to be quiet like a ninja. Okay. I'll do that over here. How do you how do you be quiet like a ninja? Okay, well, you, you close your eyes and okay, you go to sleep. Eyes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I, was wondering, I was wondering how problematic this <laughs> silence was going to be. Shinobi. Uh, okay, well, we're uh, there. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, on, we're on the problematic Richter scale. Uh, uh, American Ninja 1. American uh, Ninja 2. Nice, nice correction. <laughs> American Ninja 3. Yeah, okay. Uh, 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 Spike TV uh, can only save you so much. Uh, the Ninja card in, in Marvel Snap. <laughs> Negative 2 power. Me, me, me. <laughs> okay, me, me, all right. Me, me, me. <laughs> Bryce, who won? All right, we've got both of your answers here. Brian, you said need to sleep. And Justin, you said need to sleep. Yep. We were looking for <laughs> need to sleep. Yeah. Well learned. That's a well Justin learned. Robert Young. Point. One of my powers is to extend my arms all the way down the pyramid and give you a handshake. <laughs> but another power is to pull it back and pretend to pull my hair back. I shoot watermelon seeds out of my megalodon dick. Oh, no. <laughs> if you had an idea for a game, please send it to our email, greatnightpod at gmail.com. That's where you can send ideas for games, questions, comments, uh, any sort of nice words is really helpful over there. Greatnightpod at gmail.com or anywhere you can see the show notes where you're enjoying the show. Thank you. Hey, hey Brett, what did we learn tonight? Yeah. What we have learned tonight <laughs> is that one, Lucas oh, is a happy a person, night. not because he got $100, yeah. but now he's got a fantastic night. story to tell. <laughs> Two, uh, it's always better to be fruit. Uh, three, trees sometimes fall, and boy, do they make a sound. Yeah. And finally, I need to explain myself more for clarity, and don't go for a walk. <laughs> uh, man, uh, what, what a journey. It's been two whole weeks, and, and boy, it's so good to be back here. 
It indeed did. Ladies and gentlemen, head on over to scamstuff.com. Search for the Founders Day picnic. Uh, uh, again, let's see you in get, person. Get, get this shit. Uh, uh, now, because uh, they are going to sell out, and they're probably going to sell out in the next few weeks. So please uh, join us. It's going to be really fun. Uh, get us uh, patreon.com slash great night. Uh, quick plug San Francisco, March 1st. Uh, we'll be doing a live We're Not Wrong podcast. Myself, uh, Andrew Heaton, Jen Briney, all people that you've seen on this show. A special guest. Who knows? Who knows whether or not he's standing next to me? Uh, who, who knows how, whether or not he has the ability to squirt onions out of Who his? knows? We don't know. Uh, but uh, uh, find that on my Twitter, uh, Justin R. Young. Until next time, it's been a great night. Shout out, you crazy diamond. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>